Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the presence of a number of senior officials at Sakhir Palace. His Majesty the King reviewed several local issues and topics, particularly regarding the landmark achievements attained by the Kingdom as a result of the ongoing comprehensive development process Bahrain is witnessing at all levels to better serve the nation and its citizens. His Majesty express thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the tremendous efforts he is exerting to improve the work of public institutions and government departments, contributing effectively to optimizing national gains. His Majesty the King also commended the fruitful efforts made by the relevant ministries and institutions, as well as the Jaffer Endowments Council and those in charge of Maatims to ensure the success of this year's Ashura commemoration, stressing that the success Success reflects the robust social fabric and the prevailing cohesion and cordiality among all Bahrainis who have also been known for their respect for pl pluralism, which has been a source of strength for the kingdom throughout its long history. His Majesty lauded the landmark youth and sports achievements attained by Bahraini athletes over the past period, citing their outstanding success at the West Asian Table Tennis Championship hosted by Jordan and the Fifth Islamic Solidarity Games held in Turkey, which reflects Bahraini's dedication, distinction and keenness to honor their nation and consolidate its leadership. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, conducted a field visit to Khalifa Town, accompanied by a number of ministries and officials, to inspect the preparations of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning, with the imminent commencement of the project to implement 372 new housing units in the city, worth 17 million Bahraini dinars. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed that the social housing sector is witnessing a positive transformation in terms of speed of service, which is a result of the royal directives of His Majesty the King and the policies of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which are based on creating new programs that provide immediate solutions to citizens. In this regard, the Deputy Premier hailed the new housing finance program and the government land development rights program, which are a translation of the success of government initiatives aimed at strengthening the partnership with the private sector. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah also inspected the sites allocated for the Government Land Development Rights Program. In this regard, he directed ministries and the concerned government service agencies to begin the infrastructure works necessary to implement this project according to a specific schedule and the required cash flows. He noted that the next stage will witness an expansion in the implementation of Government Land Development Rights Program projects by assigning the construction of thousands of housing units in housing towns and other sites in various governorates to the private sector in order to make them available for citizens benefiting from the new housing finances. For her part, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, hailed the visit of Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah to Khalifa Town, noting his keenness to support the ministry's efforts in implementing housing initiatives. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, stated that admissions of the fourth batch of students to the Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa College of Islamic Studies is expected to be announced soon. The Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa College of Islamic Studies offers different specialities, which include Islamic law, Sharia judiciary, as well as Islamic banking. The college will launch a training program for the previous batches in an effort by the academic establishment to hone the graduate with skills in the fields of Sharia sciences, advocacy and guidance. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Ahmedan, affirmed the Ministry's keenness to encourage job-seeking youth to develop their professional capabilities through various qualification programs to enable them and enhance their employment opportunities in private sector establishments and their contribution to the development process in the Kingdom. The Minister of Labour affirmed that the Ministry will continue its implementation and the approach to prepare and train recent graduates through a package of quality training programs in various specialities and educational qualifications and are in line with the needs of employers. 
Calfair, in cooperation with the Ras Al Khaimah International Airport, announced the beginning of the implementation of scheduling flights to the Emirates of Ras Al Khaimah on the 3rd of October with two flights per week, with the possibility of these operations continuing throughout the year. The agreement was signed in the presence of the Ministry of the Minister of Industry and Commerce and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Calfair, Saeed Zayani, and the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Ras Al Khaimah International Airport, Engineer Sheikh Salim bin Sultan. During the signing ceremony, the Minister of Industry expressed pleasure at adding Ras Al Khaimah to the list of Gulf Air destinations and raising the number of its destinations in the UAE. For his part, engineer Sheikh Salim Al Qasmi noted that this agreement offers many options for destinations from east to west in order to ensure the fulfillment of the desire of travelers in the region and the world, adding that this agreement enhances the strong relations between Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sayrfi, stressed the ministry's keenness to keep pace with the efforts to support and develop Bahraini youth in Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his support to the youth to activate their creative energies and integrate them into the development process and national prosperity. She noted that the Ministry of Tourism is also working to implement the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to prepare the approval appropriate ground for unleashing and activating the energies of the youth. al Sayyidi emphasized the ministry's interest in activating sports tourism within the framework of the efforts made by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness's many initiatives to advance the reality and future of Bahraini youth, empower them and unleash their energies, as well as the contributions of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, as Hani Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, empowering Bahraini youth to make further achievements. The Minister of Tourism stated that the ministry is working to provide further support to Bahraini youth and encourage them to engage in the tourism sector and take advantage of the employment and growth opportunities offered by the sector. In implementation of the directives of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, president of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahani Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the GSA revealed the details of His Highness's initiative for age groups under the name of the Khalid bin Hamad Gold Generation League. This came during a press conference held by the GSA in the presence of the CEO of the authority, Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, as well as a number of heads of federations and clubs concerned with the initiative. Dr. Askar expressed thanks and gratitude to the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Azana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his continuous support to the sports sector, stating that this initiative comes within His Highness's visions and the strategies of the SCYS, and to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his interest in the age group sector and his directives to launch this initiative. During the press conference, the details of the initiative and its slogan were revealed. Dr. Asker stressed that based on the directives of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, financial rewards have been allocated to the first three places in the league competition up to the first and second places in the cup competition in addition to honoring the best player in each match. Bahrain has been selected among a group of 25 states and the first among the GCC member countries to implement the WHO plan to accelerate progress towards reducing obesity. A remote meeting was held to discuss details of the scheme, which will be implemented in coordination with representatives of based WHO. Chairing Bahrain's team, Health Ministry Assistant Under Secretary for Public Health Dr. Maryam El Hajri hailed Bahrain's ranking for the implementation of the WHO plan plan to accelerate progress towards reducing obesity, which reflects Bahrain's keenness on promoting people's health. 
A new report revealed that Bahrain ranked among the top 10 most welcoming destinations for 2022, according to a recent study conducted by Internations. The study relied on the experience of the expatriates living in these countries, including Bahrain, and the reasons of choosing them, including the friendliness of the people, the welcome and celebration of tourists and visitors, the formation of friendship and integration with others, and the generosity and hospitality.